We're rolling? We're fucking ro Hey! It's been a minute. We haven't done one of these in a while. Welcome back. It's The Hard Truth with John Joseph. And I got famous. <laughs> Look at this motherfucker. Beast chef from Sydney, Australia, Dan Churchill. What's up, guys? So we're going to fucking cook some shit. You. Um, he's making a dope ass salad. And I'm putting together an Indian stew, right? Now, let me explain something to you. It's coming out of this book, right? It's Kitri. And here's what motherfuckers is constantly saying. Ah, it's too expensive to eat this way. Ah, but guess what? All of this stuff right here cost me about $15. And every ounce of it is fucking organic. It's just like the motherfuckers that say, I don't have time to work out. I don't, I, listen, you pay now or you pay fucking later, right? 100%, like put it into yourself now, although Medicare is gonna fuck you up later. Yeah, invest in yourself, eat good fucking, look, look at the colors of this shit. Are you fucking kidding me? We got spinach, cauliflower, this is rice and dal, potatoes, broccoli. Tomatoes, he's doing a dope. Look at these fucking spices, all organic. All fucking organic. We ain't fucking around over here. So here's the deal. This is gonna be a very inexpensive, very healthy, very tasty fucking dish. So stick with me, we're gonna pop some shit. We're gonna learn about this motherfucker and what he's got going on. Cause I did your podcast, right? Yeah, you did. You rocked it, man. Tell him the name. The Epic Table Podcast, shot right here, actually. Right here, right this here. motherfucker. That's With Aussie we, accent. And we, I, I fought, and let me tell you something. I put on my Aussie accent, but we got hooked up by- Simon Hill. Simon Hill. Hill. What's up, Simon? Plant, what's his webpage? Uh, plant proof. All about plant proof. evidence based. And you look at this motherfucker, he's cock diesel. Oh, and one thing. Isn't he big? Yo, he's jacked. I couldn't believe how big that motherfucker was. He came to New York, I did his podcast. He has some dope shit to say too. 100. But let me explain something. I've been watching him. What's your Instagram page? Uh, Dan underscore Churchill. So just my name. Dan yeah, so, and I've been noticing that you have been cooking more and more plant-based stuff, right? 100%, 100%. So you're moving in that direction. I've always loved plants and you've just been talking about it. So I saw with well, John Joseph, good enough for John Joseph. It's good it's enough good for enough me. good enough for me. <laughs> for my fucking mama Luke Ash, it's good enough for everybody. <laughs> Let's end there and then we're gonna find out what he's got going on athletically because this dude is fit as fuck. So stay tuned. We're gonna get back at it while we're cooking. Peace. What's up, guys? You're here in my kitchen. My name's Chef Dan. I'm here with John Joseph. I'm non-chef shit talker, John Joseph. <laughs> you guys know this guy. I've got the pleasure of being on his channel. And here we are going to cook up a super cheap, nutrient-dense, plant-based, Indian-based meal. It's going to be delicious. He's got all the magic happening. If you want to check out more of his healthy recipes, you can come to my channel too. But otherwise, let's get this guy rocking. What are you doing about this? This is bringing people together through multicultural cuisine. That, look what he's writing over here. Look at this shit. Explain that, please. Whoa, let's break this one down. This is, uh, okay. Step into my, step into my class, John. You ready? I'm ready. ready. My, my, my dunce cap is on. <laughs> All right, so a lot of people talk about the base elements of what we get from plants. If we take a look up here. We hear phytochemicals a lot. Now, it sounds like a bit of a technical word. Let's break that down. So you've got phyto, which basically means plants. Chemicals, they mean chemicals. So we're talking about plant chemicals, the good stuff. Now, you have aspects or uh, components of that known as polyphenols. Respectively, you've got different types of polyphenols that are respectively two different things. Flavonoids, you have dark chocolate, you get those bitter notes, that's the benefits of the flavonoids, you get the polyphenols associated with dark chocolate, anthocyanins and what you get from berries. Berries, berries. that's right, and, and what makes Berries, it's the thing that gives the berries the color. 100%. Right. And, and, and ladies, let me explain something to you. This guy's got the looks and the fucking <laughs> brains. Where it's the full fucking it's package Aussie, over it's here. All the Aussie <laughs> so, one of the great things about this dish, right? You got protein, you got carbohydrates. These are red lentils, split urad dal, it's called. You could get it in any Indian store. And this is organic basmati rice. And then we have all, this, all the spices, cumin seeds, ginger, fresh 
jalapeno. This is asfetida. This is cumin powder. This is sea salt. Well, this let's, is let's back this up. Asfetida. Asfetida, also known as hing. It's like a garlic kind of flavor. It gives great aromas. And listen, if you're farting like a fucking wildebeest, you vegan motherfuckers, you take a little teaspoon of that, quarter teaspoon in some water, no more gas. Asfetida. You heard it here first. Asfetida. Yes. Fuck cheetah. <laughs> so we're going to do our base, right? So this calls for ghee and butter. We don't fuck with that. So what we have is organic Miyoko's and we have some coconut. So we get these from this regular supermarket, health food store? Well, you got to get it at a, you got to get it at a, at a health food store. And Miyoko's guys is pretty much a base of cashew uh, base elements along with coconut oil. So if you've ever just kind of solidified uh, soaked cashews before, blitz that with coconut oil and let it sit because fat, when it cools, hardens. That's pretty much the base of what this yeah. is. Yeah, and you know what? You're gonna love the fucking. You it, it works. Table. Ooh. It works tablespoon for tablespoon of ghee, right? Just clarified butter. But we don't fuck with the ghee. Nope. So we do it the right way. And we got all these beautiful vegetables. Look at this. Potatoes. Organic potatoes. Organic potatoes. Broccoli flowers. This is one. minced cauliflower. What? So, and, and then we fold in the spinach last. So you're going to get all... And then what's the salad you're making? Speak to us, chef. Look, you're the real motherfucker. I'm a, just like a knucklehead that, yeah. <laughs> you know, learn how to do some shit in the you kitchen. You know what's funny about this salad? It's got a name. starts with a Z. I can't pronounce it. But it's a pretty classy element. Wait, thing. wait. I take that back. You are as dumb as you look. <laughs> ah! I just let the flavor do the talking. All right. So, so what do we got? What are you making So we've got a combination of some pretty typical Indian dishes. we got cucumber, tomatoes. We're going to take in some nuts as well. So toast these up. Add in some ground cumin. Uh, toast those up. And then make a nice little citric. And wine. that looks like basil. Is that basil? That's mint, my man. Mint. That's okay, mint. mint. Yeah, Stupid. Like, See, I told you I don't know what I'm talking about. Bad boy. All right. So the great thing about Indian cooking is this. The Ayurvedic spices are very fucking healthy for us. So they not only do our food, they actually help the nutrition in the body. Cumin, all of this stuff. Turmeric, this is antibacterial. It helps to fight cancer, all kinds of shit. Even the cute, yeah, anti-inflammatory. Every spice per density of unit is full of antioxidants going to injectify and rear Particularly like someone like John or yourself who's fit, when you guys are active, you actually build up more oxidative co uh, compounds. You need to get rid of that through antioxidants. That's where spices come in. So the first thing that goes in is the ground ginger and the fresh jalapeno pepper oh, and the that. cumin seeds. Yum. So we're going to put that in Ooh. And, and we're going to let that base cook. And when you see what the clot is cooking... <laughs> So you were at our show last week. What'd you think? Oh my man, I was uh, I was watching and seeing some actual. Is that, would you call it a mosh pit? It Is was. It, uh, what would you call that? Snake pit? Uh, yeah, it was fucking pretty crazy. It was crazy. I was like walking to Tonkin Square Park. Everyone's going mental. People are moving about. Look, let's just put it out there. If I was looking for a New York experience inside a, inside a park, I got one. Sorry, they're opening up the city now. We beat them to the punch uh, by a couple of weeks, but we just said, hey. You know, we're going to do this concert, Black and Blue. Shout out to Cousin Joe, set it up. Thanks, Cousin. We had uh, the Capturers who, can you turn this up just a little bit? Yeah, Capturers who were a reggae band. Then we had Wisdom in Chains, my new band, Blood, which is not a new band, but new lineup, Blood Clot. And then we had Murphy's Law and Manball headline the whole shit. It's off the chart. You can look it up. And this is cooking. So now the next thing that's going to go in is... The ground cumin and the asfetida. Boom. So what you're noticing here, guys, pretty cool. Pretty common practice in Indian cuisine to build your oil and the flavor and spice. It's called the chaunch. The chaunch. The chaunch is what it's all about. Like when they make dal, right? You cook down. Oh. This is basically dal with rice and vegetables in it. So it's a great, um, it's a great dish. Look at that bubble away. Look at the proteins yeah. come through. That's nice. Oh Smell my that. God. Smell it. Stick your fucking face in there. You want that too? Go ahead. Go ahead. Woo. So now we're going to do the fucking potatoes. Mm. Right? Get and the sauce. cauliflower. Right in there. Nice little bit of Listen. This is easy. This is easy fucking peasy. 
take some time and learn how to fucking cook. And how many people are you cooking for here? I feel like you've got enough for like, I don't know, at least a week of food. Uh, you know, here's the deal, man. This, uh, this holds up good. So you want to let this, uh, you want to let this cook down while we're talking. You don't walk away and go smoke a blunt, go watch porn, or whatever the fuck you do to waste time. When you cook, you put your consciousness into the food. You stand here and you watch your fucking food. You don't walk away. What are you noticing right now? The flavors. The flavors are being absorbed. And can you turn that up? Yes. See, I, I got a flame in my motherfucking house. Yeah. Just let's keep it high while we do this shit. Let me there we go, baby. So, yeah, these are going to brown these potatoes. We want to get some spots on them. Oh, we're fucking cooking now. But pay attention to your fucking food. You don't walk away because then you start burning shit and nobody wants to fucking eat it. I don't want to eat burnt food. And we're going to put the broccoli in too. Boom. So now we got, look at this. We got three vegetables, broccoli, potato, and cauliflower, all of it organic. We're going to let it cook down a bit. Thank God we went with the bigger fucking pot. <laughs> well, uh, let me turn my, turn my shit on fucking silent here. So have you actually cooked this on before, John? Have, have, have I? Have you made this before? Yeah, I made it the other day. Yeah, <laughs> just to check to make sure. It's not my first fucking rodeo. <laughs> I know what I'm doing here to a certain degree. <laughs> But you want to keep stirring your food and you want the spices to get cooked into these vegetables. Yeah, you got it. You know, and, and the thing is, people say, ah, I don't like vegetables because you don't know how to fucking spice them. When you know how to spice, the shit tastes fucking epic. And guess what? This recipe is in my new cookbook that's coming out. Yes, sir. Uh, what do we have? What is it? You're, you're it's cooking? called Hardcore Kitchen. Hardcore Kitchen. I just had Tal Ronin uh, write the forward. Cool. Who was considered the world's most famous vegan chef. He cooked for the Dalai Lama, Oprah Winfrey. He has an amazing restaurant in L.A. If you're in L.A. or you're visiting L.A., go to Crossroads on Melrose. It will blow your fucking mind away what, he, what this guy's doing. He's a hardcore dude. He grew up on the hardcore scene listening to music. And he went, he got off the animal products when he was 16. And then he said, hey, I got to learn how to do this shit so that I can make food that gourmet taste motherfuckers will appreciate. He went to Le Cordon Bleu school, took all that knowledge on how to cook and spice and season and everything and then put it into the plant-based cooking. So now we're going to put this in. Here goes our rice. And beans. I love it. Right? And the reason I like the Ora dal because it's split, right? So what happens is you, uh, this will cook faster, right? Like a whole pea is going to take longer to cook. Thank God we used the bigger pot. I got left arm going for you, my man. Very good. I'm ambidextrous, actually. Oh, yeah. See, I fool motherfuckers because I'll stand in the South Pole, but then I could. So then when I hit you with the right, it's power in the right hand, power in the left, head butts, kicks coming from both sides. I don't know, I've been ambidextrous my whole life. And for you fucking Mama Luke's, that means I'm good with both hands. Oh, dude, it's, it's eating good, man. It's eating good. And I got off the drugs. So now we put, oh man, thank God we did the bigger pot. Let's go. Put the turmeric, the salt. Tomatoes? Tomato. You say tomato, I say tomato. Yeah. So color. now, look at the colors of this. Look at that, look at that shit. What are you guys talking about? Oh. See, that's what I wanted to break, was the stereotype that this shit don't taste good. All the stereotypes are being broken. It doesn't taste good. Uh, it's too expensive. And Hardcore Kitchen, I prove to you that that's total fucking bullshit. You don't need to eat this crap that people are eating. Like I said, you either pay now or pay later. Because if you eat shitty fucking food, you're going to spend your money on medication and procedures. And you're going to spend your time going to hospitals, going to doctors. Time is money. 
If you make $40 an hour, let's monetize that shit when you're spending so much time fucking in the doctors and everything else. Me, this is my, this is my medicine, right? Let thy food be thy medicine and thy medicine be thy food. That's what Hippocrates said. That's the father of modern medicine. And do no harm. Look at the colors of that. You know what I love about this recipe? It's like, honestly, it's all about the preparation and then just stir. Yeah. All together and stir. stir. You know? It's just like when you roll a blunt. You take out the twigs. You take out all the shit. You chop it up nice. You get your papers. The same attention to detail that you pay to all the bullshit that you do, right? I watch motherfuckers and some of the shit they do, and I'm like, imagine if you put that same attention to detail into health. That's what I've done. I've constantly learned over the motherfucking years. We gotta, yeah, we're gonna let this come to a boil, and then we're gonna turn it down. But we got, look at this. Look at this, Jeff. Jeff, raise fist propaganda is the fucking man. Love this motherfucker. What's a bloke? Please explain that to us. What's a bloke? Ooh, bloke. You gonna edit this with that little thing at the bottom? Thing at the bottom. Okay. A bloke is. A bloke is a guy, a gentleman, a mate, a friend, a dude, an adult male, or even a young male. Just ultimately, it's an Aussie term for a bloke. He's your mate, he's my mate, he's a bloke. Thanks, bloke. Motherfucker. Yo, we, we, you know, when you meet real people, you know it right away. It's no fucking bullshit. That's, I come from the streets of New York. The bullshit detector's always on. And when I met him and I met Simon Hill, I was like, and, and even Rich Roll said, this motherfucker's cool as fuck. So you got the pass from Rich. I appreciate that. But it, let's talk about a little bit of the athletics, because there's a reason we're eating all this food, right? It's like you put good fuel into a high-performance sports car, not to sit on the track. Nope. You get up off your fucking ass. So I'm training for Lake Placid Ironman, which is fucking brutal, but you got Harriman Half coming up. So you've been, if you go on his page, so what did you do today? Is yeah, it just to let you know, because I'm a pussy. <laughs> I, it was raining pussy? today, and I was like, I'm not going to bike today. <laughs> but what did you do? You're a fucking beast. Mate, you get up, you just go one more. So this morning, it was 5.30, got up and did 40 Ks on the bike. That's the uh, 25 miles. 25 miles. Not that too far, but it was a nice cruisy pace. Uh, so I'm doing the Harriman Half. Which, which is, is brutal because it's climbing. Oh, great. Harriman is up at uh, Bear Mountain. Is that right? Yeah, that's Bear Mountain. Fantastic. Harriman State Park is where Bear Mountain is, and I ride from the city to Bear Mountain, and it's a lot of fucking hills on that course. Okay. Great. And you're going to swim in Harriman State Park. Is that going to be a good one? Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, nice. good, it's a good one. It's a good one, but it's tough. You, we're going to get out on the hills on 9W. Okay, let's do it. You got a TT bike? You got a tri-bike? I got, what do you, or I got, a, I got a rule bike. What I do got, you got? Oh, jeez, let me show you. Let me so you guys see so far. I'm hit his mic. <laughs> So what? here's the thing, here's the thing. This guy has inspired not many people, not only just people in the plant-based world, but also in the athlete world. So I've always been fit, I've always been into it. Surfer from the northern beaches of Sydney. Getting What's that, here. Bondi? No, no, that's... Uh, that's where's, the good, where's the good surfing? We got surfers that watch this shit too. Okay, these surfers, you want, like, there's honestly secret spots. Obviously, everyone knows about North Narrabeen, where the World Junior Championships are. But honestly, it's outside of Sydney. You start to get some pretty nice place. Up a crescent head. Nice. Surf spots like that. Really nice. And I got to get in this salad ready while we're waiting. Yeah, so guys, things about salad. Number one, there's no rules. So what I'm going to say here is all about you guys. With any salad, you're looking for a couple of things. Freshness, texture, so you break it up, and a drizzle of a sauce. Anything you have. So what is this? Is it What is this pure coconut? Because so, I've seen it. Yeah. I've seen it. I've never tried it, but I've seen it. In the health food market by my house. So this is called Coco Gin. Oh, hey, Coco Gin. Coco Gin they yeah, put the goddamn <laughs> things on tight there. So Coco Gin, uh, actually these are these Woo! of ours. They, wow, look at that. So that's the that's a that's base out of coconut milk, and what's great? And coconut meat, it looks like too. Yeah, yeah. So it's legit stuff. None of the none of the crap you get where it's like too. And it's organic. organic. Cassava organic. root, vegan probiotics. So you're getting everything here. So how are you going to put this? To, what, what are we doing here with so, this? 
couple things. When we're emulating the same flavors of Indian cuisine, they use a lot of acid when it comes to balancing out the, the heavy material they already get with like their lentils, their dal, right? So that's why you see a lot of dairy, yogurts, and things like that involved. We're obviously not using dairy, so this is a great alternative to get that acidity. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna chop up the base ingredients, slather it with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, finish it with some fresh mint, and then base it over with this bad boy and lime juice. Very excited to try your salad. Yeah, I mean, I've got a couple of bowls. Here we go. So this in goes that cucumber, here we go. So they take the same strand of bacteria that you would typically get in the probiotic that breaks down and ferments your uh, dairy-based yogurt and puts it into a plant-based situation, which is great. Here we have some fresh cucumber. Just chop this up into like rough edges. You know, whatever's easiest for you guys. We're gonna do the same thing for our tomatoes. Watch this motherfucker work, cause now you're gonna see the difference between a real chef and a fucking mama Luke. Man, I Look at this fucking guy go, man. Holy shit. And Jeff, sticking his finger in there, just got cut. Almost touched. You good? Jeez. He touched you. Oh, yeah. Highly nutritious, all kinds of Ayurvedic spices. That's the oldest system of medicine, in case you motherfuckers don't know, you heard it here first. If you look into Ayurvedic medicine, it was all herbs and roots. And you know, uh, I gotta just say, because I posted this video about John D. Rockefeller, and what he did, because he was involved in the petroleum business, which was a lot of the base of pharmaceutical drugs, he changed the system of medicine in this country and labeled anybody using herbs and roots and all this shit that they've been using for thousands of fucking years. He labeled it as quackery. What? Yeah, re research that shit, look at that video. You heard it here first. Look at that, look at that fucking finesse with that knife. Holy shit. That's real. That's real. Wow. So fresh meat in there. What does Sade say? He's a smooth operator. Smooth operator. Coast to coast LA. All right. Now, like any salad, you've got your elements of texture. Your texture really comes in. Just like that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the about a couple of minutes. And you can just see here, a little coloration start to take shape. That's what you're looking for, all right? Start to get that little consistency throughout, and it's taken without a little. And then we're gonna drop in some flavor bomb right here, just some dried cumin. We're gonna then use a mortar and pestle for the first time. Join me with my man, get over that mortar and pestle. This is a mortar and pestle. You could, you know, I used these before too for, if you, if you don't have a, a spice mill, one of the electric ones, and you want to go old school, you just put the whole cumin seeds. Did you do it with that? What's that? The dry spice? Yeah. Yeah, see, he did this shit by hand. So you could get your organic cumin seeds and just bash them motherfuckers down. That's hot. And then if anybody gets loud in your kitchen, boom, boom, you hit him in the temple with this He's shit. I don't violence. condone violence, but you know, it's it's a necessary part of fucking life too. All right, speaking of necessary, necessary cumin cashews, you need your cumin, so you go to your cumin. So it's about, I'd say, a couple of teaspoons of that. Just let that kind of get aromatic around there. And all I'm doing is just agitating the pan. This is a great way, you don't even have to add these to a salad. You can just allow these to cool and use them separately. Here we go. Wow. That's it. Now what you're doing is, when cashews or any nuts for that reason are actually under heat, they will still evaporate whatever moisture they have left over. So you've got to make sure they're cool first. So you're not cool, you're just sit them to the side. Because, you know, we want everybody to, uh... Oh, wait, so you bash that shit down yeah, and... Just give it a little rough chop. Just give it a little wow. Little, little love tap, my man. Little love Jesus, tap. Mary and Joseph. Look at the guns. Go easy. Look at the guns. It's Look at the guns. Aussie love here. That's all it is. So what's your diet now? Are you primarily switching to plant-based? Yeah, so I'd say majority of it. I still have a little eggs and some fish, but yeah. I've uh, reduced it right down. So you do, like, uh, you know, chicken periods and, and fucking... Back a lot. <laughs> I'm just fucking. I don't judge nobody what you eat. You should know that by now. He's my boy. Oh, this is dope. 
So you just give it a little love Look tap. at that. You want a couple of little textures, so like, don't have to go all the way to a ground consistency. And then all we're going to do now is just turn that directly into our Can bucket. I try one of those? Yeah, go for it, Maroon. Hot? Oh! Wow! Banging. Banging, yo. You killed it, bro. That's all it is. Go, and then you're going to add in that. So here's the thing about a simple dressing for any salad, all right? You need fat, olive oil, coconut oil, you name it. A little bit of acidity, so we can use lemon juice, vinegar of some sort, and that's all you need. So one part vinegar to three parts oil, pinch of salt, all right? So we had our olive oil in there first, a drizzle or a sprinkle of vinegar, and then we should give that a little toss. Wow, oh my God. Ooh. Hey, listen, don't panic. Everything's organic, but listen, we're going to post the recipe for this. Mm. And we're gonna post the recipe for the salad. Ooh. And I'm also gonna post the recipe because I served this with chapatis. Oh yeah. Right? My but bad. you don't have a gas burner here. Nope. So you in a chapati, gas. you have to put it on a grill on both sides, and then you throw it on the flame and it puffs up like that. So I'm gonna give you the recipe for the chapatis. So you're gonna get more carbohydrates and you're gonna have a beautiful salad. You're gonna have the kitchri, and you do it Indian style with the right hand. Break off a piece of chapati, you grab that shit, you put some kitchri in there, you eat that, you stuff some fucking salad in your fucking pie hole, and you're good to go. This, look at this, look at this. That's some funny games. See, I don't do shit like that. Where's my water? Can you hold that bowl up? Up, 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 up. You know, I don't want the shit to spill, go high. Look at that, look at that. If you could smell this, the flavor of the of the uh, spearmint and the olive oil and the cumin and the tomatoes. Holy shit. Unfucking real. Good stuff, bro. That is fucking epic. Oh, if you guys could smell this, this is like an aphrodisiac. You gonna come on to me, Oh, no, man. Not, not today. Oh my god, look at that. That is fucking sexy. That's a sexy motherfucking salad. Yeah. Iron. Straight Iron. up. Riboflavins. Flavins. So yo, we're putting in this... What, what the fuck is in spinach? Popeye ate that shit and he kicked the shit out of Bluto. But what's in this shit that makes it so epic? Honestly, iron's good. It's got a bit of calcium too. But the best thing about it is it's not so acidic from... Like, if you take on animal meat and it's got calcium in it, hypothetically, you're not going to absorb as much because it's too acidic. You pee it out. So here we have spinach and it's all absorbable. We've got iron. You've got all the A, D, E, and K as well. Just freaking amazing. Get that in there. And the tomatoes with the acidity is going to help your body absorb. That's why when you take iron supplements, you have to take vitamin C because that helps. You heard it here first, motherfuckers. This is the first. What's it helps the, the hard truth with John Joseph. It helps the iron to be absorbed into the body. If you just take iron supplements without vitamin C, you're pissing it out, motherfuckers. It's a waste so of now we got all the acidity going of the tomatoes, and we're just gonna put all that motherfucking spinach in there. Right. We don't waste shit on this nope. fucking show. We bring it all together. We bring it all together. Ah. Now look at this, right? We're gonna give it a good fucking wow. nice stir. Look at that. This is cooking shit, down, look man. At that. All right. Look at the colors. Look at the texture. All right. Oh, we're stirring from the bottom too. You don't want your shit to stick, motherfuckers. Stir it from so the our bottom. tomatoes, our potatoes are cooking. Everything's cooking the fuck down. Dude, that looks so good. Look at that. So and you use the heat of the dish is cooking down the spinach, right? So all the nutrients stay in the dish. And then we put the fucking cover back on and we sit and talk some more shit. Put out there my own shit in my own vernacular with a bunch of fuck yous, motherfuckers, kiss my motherfucking ass and the rest of it. But you know what? It's catching on. Uh, I wrote meters for pussies. It turned a lot of motherfuckers' heads uh, to, to go plant-based. A lot of chicks bought it for their dudes. They're like, this dude speaks my fucking language. He's not a vegan with a stick up his ass. I don't even call myself a vegan. 
And furthermore, Hardcore Kitchen and another book is called Unfuck Your Health. That's coming out too. I kicked ass during the ep- during this fucking pandemic. I got busy. I got to work. I finished the Iron Man. I worked on two books. I'm putting the work in, man. Don't sit on your ass. I, I got a coaching business going. JohnJosephDiscipline.com And you know what it is? Boom! The fresh organic lemon juice Woo! and another little tab of Miyoku's butter. Uh. We're gonna fucking stir it in there to yeah. give the last little bit of flavor. I love how the starch, the rice has become so out. Look at that, it's like a that. porridge. Woo! And listen, you don't have to do this with your potties. You could cut up some focaccia, toast that shit. This goes with anything. You can do steamed greens on the side or a nice fucking salad. Oh man, the lemon. Stick your fucking handsome face in that motherfucker, will you? Oh, man, that's a oh. pot right there. That is it. This is called Kitri. A little of this, a little of that. So we're gonna... This is done. I give it a good mix, because we always want everything to be mixed perfectly. And we're gonna plate this and show you what it looks like on a plate. Stand fast, motherfuckers. Grab a fork. Grab a fork. Grab a fork. Here you go. So, you know what else you could do? Because what they do with Kitri when they make it is they dump a little bit of fucking, like, that plant-based uh, real thick yogurt on there, right? So you can do that. You got your fucking salad. You got your Kitri. You can make this with bread. Let's try this, bro. Take a fucking gander at that. Holy like shit. Dude, Let me try your amazing salad. Hot. Hot. Wow. We did it. Let's wow. go, baby. Let's go. Try that fucking kitchen. Look at all this nutritious goodness in here, dude. Oh, oh yeah. with the yogurt. Oh. Wow. Hare Krishna. It just melts in your Hare mouth. Krishna. Hare Krishna. Eat good, live good. That's what life's about. I want to thank you, bro, for letting us in your fucking home here. Always, you guys are my family. And now. um, so fucking good, man. Pretty, we did, we did some good work. Dude, you're pretty much Australian now. You know that? Aussie rules. Aussie rules. I'll get you on my channel too. Wow. Mm. What do you think? Look at them spices, bro. So good.